Hi, I'm Mike. I'm Scott. And I'm Mark. We are your Screen Machine product support team, and here's another quick tip. Hello, in this video we'll be going over how to fold your side stacking conveyor on your 612 screen machine trommel. So we've got another video that goes over in depth your valve handles over there that Mark's going to be working for us, so check that out if you need to. But uh, you're just going to need to find your side stacker, uh, your cylinder valve bank over there. Um, what we're going to go over on this video is we're going to remove these pins here. We've got a pin right on the opposite side I'm going to go ahead and take out really quick. It's usually in its storage position if you put it back there, so make sure to remove it before you start folding up. So this pin out of that pocket over there, I've got that removed so now we can get it folded all the way in there. Uh, Mark's going to go ahead and fire it up. What you're going to do is you're going to kick this top section up about 45 degrees, come up with the bottom section, then start folding over with the middle section. Need to remove these two pins right here first as well. So these are tight, you're going to have to bump up on the lower section valve handle to loosen these pins up. Go up a little bit. Alright, I've got mine out. See if Mark can get his out on the opposite side there. Alright. Now that he's got that out of the way, he's got that top section kicked up, he's going to start coming up with the lower section. Leave the engine at idle. Nice and slow is the way to do this. You don't need it any faster than this. Make sure nobody's in the way. Uh, make sure there's nothing on the opposite side that you're going to hit. So a good tip on this is I'm going to go around uh, to the opposite side around uh, so Mark can kind of see me through that little pocket on the engine compartment. So once he gets it folded over, I'm going to go to the opposite side and help him get that top section into the pocket that you'll, you'll see is where the transport lock goes. So I'm going to wait till he comes over with that middle section there. There you go. So that'll suck this lower section uh, of, the, of the conveyor the rest of the way towards the machine. Once he gets that folded down, we're going to put our pins back in these transport positions here. Alright, so now we've got the weight on it. We're safe to get in here. I've got my pin in there. Mark's got to adjust it a little. If you need to adjust it a little bit, use that lower section valve handle over there. So now he's got his hole lined up. Go ahead and put your keepers back in there. So I've got my pin in there. You want to make sure those get going, uh, those getting those holes for going down the road. So now he's got his on there. We're going to go to the opposite side here. So now you can see that top section's about uh, horizontal over, or the middle section's about horizontal over the top of the machine. Mark's going to kind of come in now with this. This is the spot you want to be at to communicate with uh, the guy folding it up over there on what he needs to do. Alright, up a little bit with it, with your middle section. Oh, down a little bit. A little more, uh, up just a little bit. So it's a little touchy, we'll hold it right there. That's why it's good to communicate, there's a little hole right here, you can kind of see him, you're out of danger's way and everything, so once you get these lined up, put your last transport pin through that pocket right there, put your keeper in, or else this pin will, could come out going down the road. Just get that keeper in there. All right, so now we've got that pin locked in there, we've got the two pins on the opposite side, this conveyor's folded up, ready to move down the road.